When you hear me talk about starting people off on 30 and 60 minute gaps on the gap list, then no matter what I say during the day, it doesn't matter, right? That's all where you are. So I thought we'd take a, start off by taking a look at that. So if we go to 30 and 60 S Gen, okay? So here's things you could have done, right? So here on the opening, rallies back for a potential 2-2 reversal to the upside right you don't get it it goes up a little bit and comes back you just get out as soon as it comes near that right but then once you have the two up two down reversal you can take this right there and take it right back down right and i know especially newer traders have a tougher time you know going long and short something in the same day we don't all right because if that works we're looking to try and take this thing out didn't make it but what some people will do is create that winning position here short below there and as long as it's below there you don't care you can go do something else come back at the end of the day and cover down here so that hit at 171.36 down to 168.47 not bad and you also had the inside 60 at the end of the day to maybe get, get a little extra morsel out of it right 30 was a little tricky but you'll hear me uh, talk about triangle the apt right so we're already looking for this thing to keep puking so when it came up into here there's your inside 30, 2, 1, 2, right back down, right? And that was below here, 169.80, right? So you got another buck and a half out of that, right? So uh, one of the things I'll talk about is that you want to look at the 30s and 60s 20 minutes past the hour and 10 minutes before the top of the hour. What will the, th if the 30 triggers, will that trigger a 60? What will that do? All right, do you have combinations and stuff like that? So if we go to QD, little guy, and so something little guy, I'm like, probably not going to go short something this cheap, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so you would have preferred this to the upside. Um, you just didn't get it because, you know, at best, this thing goes to zero and I make a bulk 80, right? So uh, if you go to NVIDIA, so NVIDIA here, we had that inside 60 with the Qs and all that kind of stuff that worked. Right? The magnitude's only to take this out, which it did, but then you got to protect above this. I don't want to come in back in here because then you got rev strat right here. Two up, two down, and boom, down she goes, and that's below here, 165, 63. And what, what set that up? This, the 2 2 reversal on the 30, below 167.45. Right? This thing went out at 161 with no higher highs on the 30. Right? That's a nice trade, right? Uh, so, if we go to Coinbase, Coinbase, 212 reversal off the 60, right here, <laughs> right here, and that was below 61.26, goes out at 58.67 with no higher high on the 60, and a little tricky, you had that inside 30, this would have stopped you out, but you could have re-entered on this because it's a two down, two up, Boom, reversal back to the downside here below this, 61.57. So you got a little bit more meat on those bones if you were doing it that way. If we go to Goldman Sachs, right, Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs is a little trickier. Um, you did have your inside 30 here, right, to the downside, and then another one. And you didn't have any higher highs until back into here, where it was a 212 back up. So if that works, this 30 down, these two are the opening 60. If that works, now you get a two up, two down reversal on the 60. And then here is when you finally had your higher high. So you got some more out of the Goldman Sachs. If you go to ALGN, and ALGN right here, two, two reversal on your 60, right? You had your two, one, two continuation here, just kind of petered out, big deal, right there below 260.02, all right? There's another six bucks on the downside without higher high. And what triggered that? 2230, right there, <laughs> right there. Nailed this thing and no higher high on the 30 either. So you can see, um, I lag was just kind of a shenaniganer, which you really wanted to see go up, but uh, didn't happen because like I said, I don't really short $3 stocks, but um, you can see when you understand the 30, 60 gappers, how much opportunity there is, right? And you can always check with me, right? And say, is that good? I'm like, yep. Um, 
Another problem that a lot of people have is getting stopped out and then getting back in. That's something you want to get over. Because you can see, we might get stopped out, but when we're right, we're real right. Right? When they start to go, they really start to go. So um, hopefully that's helpful, you know, because people are always asking me about the gap list and what do we do. Uh, so uh, I really wanted to show everybody that because, um, especially for newer folks, because a lot of people like to jump around on what I'm saying. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. 